today's job we're working on this house and uh, we have a well that we have to abandon that one right there so what's uh, what's going on here is this is going to be the site of the future drain field for everything that they've got going on and if we look right here this little trench and a wire the new city water line has been brought in here and it's been trenched in from up here they're going to end up having to move all that because they ended up siting this area for the septic field so the old well is going to be in the location of the new septic field so we have to dig it up not hit the water line and cut off the casing three foot below grade and then we got to bring in a cement truck in here and fill it full of cement yeah okay i just want to see how deep we are oh yeah yeah we're definitely three feet perfect all right but we're gonna have to cut it down here so we need to get the shovel and um dig some of this out very cool very cool cut it low all right well while justin's cutting off the casing we're gonna go ahead and start rolling out some uh some trimmy pipe and gluing it together this is called the reverse trimming method. Rather than pumping liquid cement down to the bottom and letting it fill up, we're going to put in a pipe and allow the cement to go down and the water is going to come back out. What they didn't know, I guess the regular septic is, <laughs> I don't know where it is. They had said something about the addition that was put on the house. They noticed that the porch, I think they said the porch, that's why they've got this torn up. The, um... The septic tank is right here somewhere. Yeah, the septic tank is underneath the porch, so they have no access to it. And there's only one drain line coming away from it. So it was something probably built 60 or 70 years ago for a little single bathroom fish camp. And then it slowly turned into a two or three bedroom house. It just doesn't support it. So things change things change and now this neighborhood's grown up and the lake's grown up so that's why the 1974 well is getting abandoned hey yeah just keep bending it it'll break off it's galvanized it'll snap there it goes careful it's hot good job Y'all want? It? Nope. I'll let you. I'll let you have it if you want scrap metal. <laughs> yeah, then I'll just check. Yeah, my wife. My wife's looking at me and says, "You got too much junk anyway." Cool. Okay. Three and a half feet. Yep, three and a half feet. They wanted thirty-six inches. They got six inches more. Uh, that's about what it was. I think it was about six inches above grade. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can see right here where the the, the little bit of grout that they poured around the top and then they had about what four inches sticking out so they wanted 36 we gave them roughly 38 okay i'm gonna glue on a little piece on the end of the trimmy pipe put a 90 on it and maybe a piece of rope and then we'll send it down the hole Go ahead and let it go up, Mike. Is that the bottom? Hot dog. Okay. Perfect. That'll be great. Let's see this. We'll just take it, lay it down like so. We'll be good to go. Now all we do is wait for the cement truck. Well, I was here about a week ago, and I put a whole bag of pool shocking in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more in there now. Right before we start this. A little bit extra won't hurt. I'm just sitting up here at the uh, intersection of the road waiting for the, uh, for the concrete truck to show up. Because I don't think he's going to have enough room to turn around. I tried to turn my trailer around and I couldn't. So we'll have to worry about that. We'll have to deal with that when that time comes later. I may have to back all the way up here, but 
I don't want him to come down here and then realize he's got to back all the way up the road. So I'm going to sit up here and wait for him. And then we'll back him down and we'll start this process. Well, he's about an hour late. <laughs> All right. All right. That's cool. That'd be perfect. Yeah, definitely a lot more wet. That shit's sticky. Oh yeah, a lot more water. I added more water and mixing it up. What came out the chute was way too thick. Gotta have it go down the hole nice and smooth. That looks good. Go ahead, send it. It's still pretty dry, but it'll go. Hey, bump your chute up just a little. A little bit more. All right. Because if you look down there, you can see it. It's going down. Slowly going down, and as it's going down, water steady coming out the end of the trimmy pipe. This stuff is a lot drier than we wanted it to be, but it's what we got to deal with. It's steady going down. Because it's so dry. Hey, look, yeah. Look. It quit coming out. So that means it ought to stop going down here shortly. That should stop within the next couple, couple few minutes. Yeah, that concrete was extremely dry. I wish it was a little bit more wet, but the truck's leaning, so he couldn't get no more water out of it. But I think we've got it pretty well, pretty well covered. It's been about five minutes and it's only settled about six inches. So we're pretty much good to go here. I wanted to get all that, all the trash in the hole to be able to go down in that hole. If not, I'm going to scoop it out with the, uh, with the excavator. Well, it's been about 30 minutes. It's not settling anymore, so it's all good. I'm going to go ahead and take the excavator and I'm going to scoop out any of the residual concrete, set it off to the side fill the hole back in that way there's not like this big massive mound of concrete in the ground because they're going to be putting the leach field out here and i don't want them to start digging the leach field and then find this big massive clod of of you know solid concrete down there so i'm gonna go ahead and dig it out put it on top of the ground and then they'll dispose of it later you know when they're done but. all right got all the excess dug out looks pretty good I'm happy with that. Nice and solid. Anywhere. Not moving anymore. Nope. She's solid. You happy with that? I'm happy with it. All right. Time to fill it in. Well, I just got done finished covering it all up. You can't even tell where it was. You kind of can, but I took special care and took some of the tree stump mulch that they had grinded up and kind of packed it all in and spread some of the mulch out here. So I think there's a wire somewhere here that used to feed the well pump. And you figure out where the damn thing used to be at now. Must be a good job. Cool. Looks great. Say bye everybody, bye. <clears throat> it's on city water now. And I saw something on the side of the road and I had to stop and look. 
is somebody else's drilling rig that's identical to ours. Like, same model and everything. I just wanted to see whose it was. <clears throat> they don't have any name on it. No name. It's got a different muffler on it than ours. That's so cool. Ah, oh, they're running three inch rods. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Very rare. Very rare to uh, to see somebody else out here with a similar setup to ours. A lot of people like to get T3s. Damn, that's crazy. That is crazy. Looks like they got them a, an over-reamer similar to ours. And they've got them some sort of 8-inch hammer. Wow. That is cool shit. 450 WS, just like ours. That's neat. Look at that winch cable. That winch cable is tiny. And it's it looks like it's coming off the wrong side. Crane, the uh the crane okay, cool. They got two. They have two different winches. They've got that winch there. And they've got that winch there. I don't know what the difference between the two is. That's pretty cool. I just thought I'd stop. <clears throat> Don't know where the, where these guys are out of. <clears throat>